Hi guys, welcome to another video and uh, today I am at a very unique place. I am in Pochampalli. Pochampalli is very famous for its ikat print. So right now we'll be exploring the whole handloom, ikat handloom uh, thing in Pochampalli. So right now I am in Pochampalli handloom park. So this is the place where I am standing right now is their store where they sell whatever they manufacture in their handloom park and I will be taking you uh, through the whole uh, process from the start to the tying and dyeing and everything till you know uh, the final product is done and it is displayed here in their store. So let's go check out the Ikat print. So the process starts with counting the thread. She has been instructed by her supervisor as to how many threads to be counted to make one proper thread. So like I think she's been told that 3000 or something is the thread to be used to form one, uh, one hole of the thread so she's counting the thread. After that we come to the process of marking. So marking is really important because this will determine the basis of the colors for the rest, for the whole of the fabric. So essentially, he essentially marks wherever he, he wants the other uh, team to put the tie. So this is how the marking goes and I'm pretty sure the whole marking is based on uh, design which has already been thought by them so this is how they do the marking after the marking is done uh, you actually go ahead and tie on those marking areas so if you see she is tying a plastic first so basically wherever she is tying the plastic you don't want any color to appear on that area so first she is going to wrap a plastic and then over the plastic she is going to secure it with a tire strip. So that's how she will secure the whole of that area so that when later this goes into dyeing this particular section whatever is covered with that tire strip will not get the color over it. such a I mean such a meticulous job to be done it's really interesting so what she was doing was kind of a simple uh, kind of a simple uh, tying but here if you see he's tying with a lot of patterns over here so they have a predefined pattern on which he's doing the tying thing after which just just look at the pattern so after which when they will dye this whole pattern will be uh, white and the rest of the white will be the color in which they will dye. So this process here is before it goes on to the loom. It's called dressing the warp. So they're making sure that all the uh, yarns are there. Mm -hmm. They're separa separating each and every yarn. So then once you start threading it through the reed and the heddles, it's all there. there. It's all tied. See, she's making sure that uh, all these threads are intact and tied. See? She's yeah. Checking. So this is before the marking process. No, no. This is after the marking. This is ready to go on to the loop. Okay. Now we are going inside the processing unit. Ooh, it's hot in here. Okay, let's go to the experts. Normally, boil the uh, yarn overnight in a bath like that. And you leave it, and then tomorrow morning you will come and you will take it out. You nicely rinse it out and then start dyeing. So, right now they are not coloring, it will take a while. So, you can either do a cold dye or a hot dye process. So, color, you can dye color. You can either, for the inside tie tickets, you do it like this. 
these are when one of the is plain. I was telling you, no, I one could be a wet mm -hmm. ticket or a wet. So this is for the plain dye. So these are machines that they draw which dye automatically. So you just okay. feed in the color and you, you set it and then it will kind of uh, turn it and dye it. But you can only dye uh, plain things like this. Mm -hmm. You can't dye tied uh, balls. So creative. This uh, this essentially is the result of all the steps that we have seen so, so this is uh, something which has been tied and dyed and it looks like this so if you see he is opening the ties right now so if you remember uh, the lady who who was tying with the black uh, tire material so he, this, that is the same thing which has been dyed now and he's opening up that ties now so if you see uh, all the places from where he's removing the ties it is all white without color such a pretty color so she is collecting the thread source the new warp mm -hmm. onto the threads of the old warp here. This is the old warp. This is the old warp. So she is joining that so that the new warp can be pulled together and put onto the warp. So those 3000 threads I told you about, uh -huh. she will connect each of those threads. And how many times has this process done? The, the, the thing, Every correcting. time you put on a fresh wall, huh. they, you have to. And when is the fresh wall put on? When the dark part is over. Whenever there is a new color added on. So it's, it's for the length? The length. So they said there is a length and change. Huh. It's either be 25 meters or 100 meters or 150 meters. Once the 150 meters is over, uh, you have to put in a new set of threads. Oh, I got it now. Uh, so this is when she's attaching the new threads onto the old. And what is the maximum length that? Depending on the type of loop, anywhere uh, between 25 meters to 300 meters. Okay. So this is the old, this is the fabric that has already been woven. Hmm. And this is the yarns from that fabric that is left over. So but just before it gets over, they'll cut it off. Then this she will use to attach the new threads onto it. Hmm. The alternate to this. Huh? And it is not a knot. I see like I see it. Uh -huh. ash use karke, hmm. I see cut. It's not knotted. Ye some for garment, uh, ladies cut. The weaver is weaving. The ladies do all this. Ready, ready, ready. Now, what all we have seen was a pre-gloom process. The pre-processing that needs to be done before the thread goes over the loom. Now we are going to the factory or part where the threads will go on the loom. What you saw there is that they were threading on with this device. So last day from Jaitana, one has to chair and chair and chair and chair. So once they put it here, then you have to thread it through something like that. It's called the reed here. So each of those threads will come through one of this. This. What is it? First will come on this. Second will come on this. Third will come on this, fourth will come on this, mm. fifth will come on this, sixth will come okay. on this. It's like a bi binary. So each one has to place it and it's all attached to the pedal set at the bottom. Mm. This, this is attached to the, the pedal. So as she pushes one down, one will come on. And the shed will open. Can you see this? So one thread is going up, one thread is coming down. Alternative threads. Just to say this again. One thread is also all, one thread is going up, the second is coming down. The third is going up, the fourth is coming down. Okay. That creates what is this called the shed here. 
So you see this gap, you uh -huh. see it here also. So through this gap, the best yarn will be inserted to make the pattern. So you leave about three and a half to four meters every day. So that's it for today's video i hope you like it and if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel also to mention i did the uh, trail with uh, a company called breakaway so they conduct a lot of uh, trails across the country so if you're interested in something like this you can contact them uh, i will mention their link in the description box below and yeah if you know somebody who's into textile and handloom maybe share the video with them they might uh, you know uh, appreciate the whole process and everything uh, so yeah that's it for today's video i'm gonna see you soon in another video till then bye